Det er jo så det! I've looked back on some of our videos and every time Good we record time, a video, we always stand that I'm always there and you're here. But yet if you look at our logo, which neither of us are wearing, we're the other way around. I thought it's really funny that. Sure. Yeah, oh we always stand, I'm always there, you're always here. But on the logo, it's the other way around. I thought, so it's funny that today, a fella suggested that we go this way. Isn't that funny? He must have known I was going to say it. Something, yeah. yeah. Anyway, we're back again. Guys, it is another week. Hello. It's cold, it's rainy, but come on, we're all here. So today we're going back to what we call is like our barrier series. Um, recently, in the last few weeks, I've been sort of chatting to a few people out on the gym floor. We've been gathering sort of emails for our, our email list. And one of the things I sort of gleaned from people is the fact that a lot of people, and it is mainly women, are really sort of afraid of entering what we call the weights area. They like to call it the men's area. It's not the men's area, it's the weights area. Men's area, what else have I heard it called? Muscle yeah. corner, oh, yeah. muscle beach. Really, is that yeah. what you mean? Yeah. That's crazy. But it is a real common theme that women are very comfortable with coming in this particular gym up the stairs and into the cardio area because that's where they feel at home. I think it's true of most gyms. Mm. Not all, obviously it's not all women, but a lot of women do feel as they go into like the free weights area, they feel very self-conscious. Yes. Um, because they feel like people are looking at them. Yeah. And they're not outside. sure, they're not, maybe not the most confident. Yeah, that's so right. So it sort of just puts them off a little bit from going in there. So we're going to try and give you a little role play and then give you a few tips that are going to help you overcome those sort of like confidence and self-conscious issues and get you into the gym floor yeah. training with some weights that's right so on this role play obviously i'm going to be the the woman with the issue i'm going to be the why victim. why can't i be the woman <laughs> Wow! That was ridiculous, wasn't it? I'm going to be the woman. <laughs> so, obviously, I'm the one who is feeling this way. Phil's going to sort out all my problems, and hopefully it'll be a help for you guys. So, yeah, that's it, isn't it? Yeah, that's it. Let's go for it. Yeah. Well, Melanie, yeah. what's happening? Well, I ain't seen you in gym. Since his last session. Oh, I've definitely been here. Oh, you've been here? Yeah. All right. I took over there. I did, I, on Tuesday, did a load of cardio. Then I did a spin class on Wednesday. Right. Um, and then I went out for, I just went out for a walk on Thursday, so. Okay, okay. But um, I thought we were wanting to get into weight training side of things. Oh, yeah. Well, I do. That's what I, that was what I wanted to get into. But Every time I come in, I look down there and I think, oh God, look at all those blokes, they know what they're doing, it's really frightening, I think they're going to think I'm an idiot because I'm just not confident right. with it. So, I just come up here because I just feel like I can, I feel like I'm sort of at home up there, so it's just easier. Okay, that's fair, alright. What I would say to that is that, you know, the majority of people that are down there, they're more focused on their own workouts rather than necessarily what you're doing yeah. down there. Yeah, just feel a bit out of place. Okay, you just feel like really self-aware. Yeah, they might be just like thinking, what's she doing in here? You know, this is this is our area. That's what it feels like anyway. But you're comfortable... A lot of testosterone down there. <laughs> <isn't> there? <laughs> yeah, there is. <laughs> but you're comfortable with him when we have our sessions down there? I don't really so think it's... about it then, to be fair, yeah. No, so I must be. What about maybe training with a friend? Yeah, I just feel like... A friend, none of my friends really do the gym thing. They all think I'm daft anyway doing it. And, they, and friends I've got, they just do all that cardio stuff anyway. So I just feel like it's just a comfortable thing. I just feel like, I don't think I've got any friends that would want to come do weights with me. I think it's something worth thinking about, but. Yeah, yeah, you never know. Something might come up later on down the line. What yeah. about um, if we give you some workouts that involve like cardio equipment, yeah. and say kettlebells, dumbbells, and you can just bring them up there into the cardio area oh, yeah, that and do them work. together. Is that possible? That potentially could work, yeah, of course oh, it is. Yeah. What would I have to do then? Just get yourself, just get, put together a couple of workouts, so three dumbbells, you know, so exercises you can do with dumbbells, so like squats, yeah. bench press, right. all right, shoulder press, and just mix your cardio in with that. So you take the equipment up to the cardio, do your little workout, jump on cardio for like your active recovery or what have you, yeah. jump back off, back into weights. So am I allowed to do that? Am I allowed to bring weights yeah, into the yeah, Oh, yeah. right, well that could be something I could do. I mean, it's sort of, I'm, I'm uncomfortable with doing the cardio stuff and what, is it not gonna just 
get me the results I want just doing that, maybe. No, I know you're going to say. <laughs> no, because like, you want to try and maintain as much muscle as you can mm. so that you get that tone. Look I did say to you I wanted to tone up, yeah. didn't I? So, and if you're just doing cardio all the time, there's mm. no reason then for your muscle, it doesn't stimulate your muscles enough to keep that muscle no, mass. It does make sense. I think I, I know what you're saying, it's every time I come in, I just have that same feeling that I think, oh, I can't do it. So yeah, maybe that option, like you said, of working around it somehow. Yeah. And then we can work for maybe me. potentially work his way back down to, you know, then you yeah. just feel comfortable in that. Yeah, yeah, you could be right. That's maybe the way I need to play it. Because it is, I do feel like there's a lot of people that feel like that as well. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. We'll give that a try then. Let's give that a try. Sounds good. Right, right so that's like a, a common role play that we, yeah. well, well, a common scenario that we come across with like clients, especially female ones, and you know, yes. they're feeling really self conscious when they're in the gym. That's right. Um, the first thing we would say, like we said in the video, it's just getting into free weights It's a case of suck it up in there. Yeah. Try it if you can. Just suck it up. Just try it, because I guarantee you, the first time you do it, you'll soon realise that no one, well, it's not no one, but very few people uh, focus on what you're no, doing, no. all right? And it actually, you know, if you're doing something wrong, quite often someone will come over to you and offer you a little bit of advice in terms of how, how to do it right. Yeah, yeah. Whether that be a PT or a member who can, someone will help you. Of course they will, yeah. I mean, you, you start to realize no one is looking at them. Probably everybody feels exactly the same yeah. as you. They're more worried about what you're thinking of them. Yeah. Just try and remember that when you're out there, you know, that they're not focusing on you, they're yeah. focusing on themselves. Yeah. And most of these fellas are looking at themselves in the mirror, so don't worry about it, seriously. Yes. So it, it is a case of the first thing, just suck it up. Try and get in there, you'll realize it's not as bad as it seems. Yeah. Definitely. Sometimes training with a friend can help, like we said, or, you know, get yourself a personal trainer. So they can sort of, Build your confidence yeah. in terms of like the techniques that you're trying to use, okay, and training with a friend, you know, you've got someone there with similar goals, you sort of motivate each other to go, you don't miss sessions because no, you feel like right. you're the other person down, so that's Someone's definitely got a, a yeah. benefit of keeping you accountable and yeah. keeping you on track. Getting a coach, definitely a good idea. If you can, if you can stretch to maybe getting a, co a PT or coach for like two, three months just to get that experience, yeah. get some programs under your belt, and then you're off on your own. That, that's, that, that's our job really. Yeah. Teach you as much as we can in that length of time and then you just can take it on yourself and go for it. So yeah. that's a great bit of advice. Uh, but then uh, the other thing is don't think that you're just limited, that you can't do any sort of resistance training because you can't go into that area where all the equipment is. Use a bit of initiative, mm -hmm. okay? Think on your feet a little bit. Loads of things are very sort of like mobile in the gym. Of course they are. You can take kettlebells, you can take dumbbells, you can take slam balls. I've seen people take barbells yes. before. Yes, and resistance bands really easy resistance to add up and yeah. into your workout. And you can just take them to an area where you are comfortable mm -hmm. and you use them for your workout. Make yourself a workout area, yeah. yeah. It's absolutely you fine. Put yourself for a little high intensity circuit. Easy, yeah. What we're going to do is we're going to put together one of those type of workouts. We're going to put it on his Instagram page so people can use it. For, yes. If they're not the most confident when it comes to being on the gym floor and in the free weights and the machines and muscle corn and whatever. Yeah, else. whatever you want to call it. So yeah, if you want it on, a, on our Instagram, which is obviously Mel and Phil Present, we've got our Facebook page, it's also yeah. Mel and Phil it'll Present. Be, it'll be on there as it'll well. It'll be on both of them, so yeah. get on there, follow as well, and then you'll see what workout we've got planned that'll take you out of the... I can't wait to do this. I know, he's excited about it, so make sure you go on that. As far as our YouTube channel, obviously you know the drill. Like, like subscribe, subscribe tell all your friends. Up. Yeah. And um, we're going to be back next week with some sort of technique based yeah. thing, aren't we? So we'll be choosing an exercise and going through sort of form and technique on that. So, so what could it be? Yeah, guys, if you've got any suggestions before we record that this time next week, put a comment below. And uh, if not, we'll see you then. That's it. That's it. Bye. Bye.